Whoa. Oh shit, it's on fire. What has happened? Dandelion Puff upset some kindling. <laughs> Bad girl. Everything burst into flames. I barely escaped. <laughs> Dandelion Puff? My echo talkie walkie. <laughs> She's still in the house. I rushed out, but she didn't follow me. <laughs> Leather! Dandelion Puff. <laughs> You're no dog. This way, girl. Let's get out of here. Your mistress is this way, Dandelion. Be ready. Just in case. She's lucky to be alive. Friend, I soon will sleep in the comforting arms of the Lord. <laughs> Can you please look after my ickle doggy dog? Dandy is no dog. She's a fox. A fox? <laughs> How silly I've been. So that's why you love the forest so, eh, Dandy Puff? <laughs> but yes, I will find a place for her. Bless you. I die in peace. Goodbye, my dandy. Dandy do.
Best not to draw attention here. trying to live his dream. But when do we bring in the harvest? Listen up, crew! Sharpen your blades and your wits. We will go up in it. You are a long way from home, Nosman. Uh, I may be, <laughs> but my 60 winters have not slaked my taste for raiding. And I have the finest crew on the sea. You have no crew. Do you not see them? Stout fellows all. And you! Make yourself useful and help prepare the ship, friend! Fish! Bring them along! We'll have no time to catch more, what with all the pillaging. The crew will be wanting a nice meal. A crew of two, it seems. Face teeth jarring storms. The ship will cry for repairs. you there's no end of preparations we must do start yes bring or we'll need to repair weapons and shields but you have no blacksmith ah, nonsense black bjorn is about somewhere he's our man we're ready to launch out on the roiling sea summon scott knut and the rest of the crew blow your horn Let us, men! Let us survive our blood! 
You're lucky to still be alive. The crew fought like heroes. No Saxon survived, just like the old days. Friend, there was no crew. Only you and me. Your Saxons were but mangy wolves. No. Bjorn Scarred, they were all here, fighting at my side. <laughs> just as they did in the raids of yore. Gone now. Today you let their shades on a ghost ship. Your raiding days are done. Your crew feasts in Valhalla. Well, can it, can it, can it be? Hmm. And if so, it was worth it. One last raid. Thank you, my friend. Has my fond husband calmed down yet? It's soon time to bring him I'm too old. I'm not... Having trouble, farmer. Rose? Is that you? It is. My daughter, my child! I can scarcely believe it! You are a little confused. I've been longing to speak to you again. I have never spoken to you before. Rose, Rose, do not jest with your father and his failing eyes. Very well. It is good to see you again. Such a pleasure to have you at my side, Rose. But I'm so tired, so very tired. I cannot move these crates to shelter. Mm. Yes, Rose, right there. You were always very clever, child. Put the others there as well. Grown up to be quite strong.
That's the last of them. Come join me, Rose. It's been ages since we had a chat. Rose, you're such a help. Let us reminisce, shall we? The tale of how I courted your mother. Why not? You never tire of that one. Well, as a young man, I was sent to a great lord to help with his livestock. That first day, I brought the cows in from the field, and there was this milkmaid. Her smile like sunshine in a storm. I fancied her. She fancied me. We found our way to a storeroom to make better acquaintance. Sleep well, old friend. Remember Fidelis? He'd never leave your side. White roses. Once we named you, it became your mother's favorite flower. The rose bush we planted by your mother's grave has grown all the way up the old oak tree. You remember? Just outside there. Uh, what, what was I saying? Ah, your mother and I in the storeroom. Yes. Uh, well, the Lord wandered in and caught us making merry. He fell into a dark rage and raised his axe and me wearing nothing but a smile. Your mother had a quick wit. Why, master, she said, this boy can fetch you more milk than you'd ever have use for. Well, the Lord liked his milk, so says he... Bring me this milk, and perhaps I'll show mercy. We threw in our smocks and ran for the cow pen, milked the cows in a frenzy, and carried back two buckets. The Lord spooned off some cream to taste. Satisfied, he had his servant set the milk in the shade and declared more. In a thrice, master, your mother said, and we ran outside. How will we get more, I asked. The cows are spent. I must know what happened. Yes? Oh. <clears throat> well, the cows are spent. Your mother bade me not to be a ninny. She led me in a circle back to the buckets in the shade. We'll bring him these again, and call them new. So we brought the master the same milk again. Again he was pleased. Again he asked for more. And again we circled around. Soon, the master had ten buckets by his count. So he gave us his blessing. 
We ran for the stables, stole a horse, and never looked back. Not long after you were born, the pinkest little babe a father could hope for. We named you Rose. After the cow. That reminds me. Your mother's ring. She wanted you to have it. Here. I... I do not know what to say. You should keep it to remember, Mother. Such a sweet girl. I'll bequeath it to you when the time comes. I must go, Father. Take care. Such a delight to see you, Rose. Come back soon. Who are you yelling at? I see no one. My brother. He's right in there. A goblin turned him into a fish. A goblin turned him into a fish. He won't come out of the water to do his chores. Mom's gonna be so angry. Oh, whatever will I do? I've gotta get him out of that pond. It won't be easy. He's mean and slippery. Look at all those delicious fish. convinced at all that your brother is under a goblin spell. Your brother looks pretty healthy, for a fish. We thought it would be fun to get someone else to do the fishing for us. So you fooled me. And it worked. If you like, you could leave us the fish anyway. We'll swap them for brittle at the market.
Roger, we got the fish. Thank you, stranger. 